Hello everyone, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. This is Taurus versus Sagittarius. To book a private session with me, all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. Sagittarius will be to my right, Taurus to my left. Let's get started. Spirit, please provide me with messages on how Sagittarius is feeling about Taurus. How does Sag feel about Taurus at this time? The Four of Wands energy, Taurus. So if you are at a distance from this person, they want to come and visit you. They view you as a sanctuary, a happy place. Every time they're around you, they feel like they can talk to you about anything. You're such a good listener. It's only when you feel that there's not enough communication on their behalf that things can get pretty ugly between you two. But other than that, when this person comes to see you and they are having just a good conversation with you about whatever it is, they get along with you. I feel like somebody misses you here. Please keep in mind, we are not always talking about a lover. You have many Sagittarians in your life it's up to you to determine which one we are talking about. The Four of Wands coming out here as the first energy for how they feel for you is a very good sign. This is also 1111, as you can see depicted in this image. You guys are very much alike and could very well be soulmates or twin flames, okay? And also another thing for you to identify is a soulmate doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. That could be a friend that we have, okay? I have many friends that have come across my life and who are soulmates forever. So keep that in mind. Tell me more. Talk to me about how Sagittarius feels for Taurus. Tell me more about this Four of Wands energy. Tell me more. Tell me more about this Four of Wands. Why do they feel like that? Why do they feel like that for Taurus, please? Why does Sag feel like that? Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. So Sagittarius is really impressed with your change. Okay, there's something happening in your life and uh, it may do or may have something to do with your popularity, some type of fortune coming in for you. There's notoriety, publicity. They view you as going places, okay? They know that you are on your way to a better position, just um, very impressed with you, Taurus here. With the Wheel of Fortune coming out here, there's a lot of good luck on your side. Um, there seems to be fame. There seems to be fortune. You are coming across as someone that's very inspiring for Sagittarius. I feel like um, you motivate them. They get motivated around you, especially when they see everything that you've accomplished. It makes them feel like if Taurus did that, then I can type of energy. Okay. Tell me more. Tell me more about... I just feel like they're amazed with you. They're like, wow, I can't believe, you know, how Taurus is, is handling that situation or how um, Taurus can go through so much adversity and return like nothing happened. It's like they know you have like the best comebacks all the time. They know that about you and they love that because that's what a Sagittarian is all about. Um, Sagittarius is constantly trying to coach people into being a better version of themselves. You know what I mean? Um, so with the judgment card being present here, Scorpio energy, Sagittarius is looking to bring things back with you guys. And I don't know what that means. Okay. They view you as the Four of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, Taurus, and they want something back, as you can see with resurrection being present here, Scorpio energy. 
Tell me more for how Sag feels about Taurus. How does Sag feel about Taurus? Tell me more. Wow. Okay, so we have Sagittarius's card coming out here with temperance. All right, so here Sag is. They would like to have some type of equal balance with you, all right? An equal give and take, whatever it is that that means. Um, but I feel like with this nine of wands energy, Taurus, this is the problem right here, okay? They think very highly of you. And I feel like um, if anybody had anything negative to say, then they would stand up for you, okay? But at the same time, they're bothered by the things that you say to them. They're bothered by how, <clears throat> look at my throat chakra is just bugging, right? <clears throat> they're bothered by like how you push them away sometimes. It's like everything will be going fine and then you start to flip out. Then they start to say that you have anger issues but they have to identify that every Taurian is told that, okay? Every Taurus, or predominantly every Taurus is told, okay, that they have anger issues only because we are someone that, you know, will definitely tell you things that other people aren't willing to say. And we'll say it in a passionate manner um, we are not people to be taken advantage of. We stand up for ourselves. You know, we are not an easy walk in the park. We don't mean to be confrontational. We just feel the need to really speak on how it is that we view what's going on. That's, that's all it is. You know what I mean? If we have a certain perception, then we're going to speak on it, whether it makes people comfortable or uncomfortable. And that's why a lot of people have always respected you, Taurus, because at the end of the day, you know, they want to call you crazy or they'll call you all these things, but they know that they can come to you for the right answer. And they know that you aren't going to take anybody's shit. Okay. Um, a lot of times, Sagittarius is used to dealing with people who are servient. So people always give, give, give to the fire sign. You know what I mean? Because, you know, they appear to be so alluring, attracting, you know, they are um, attracting everyone into them constantly, wherever they go. So they're used to that shit. When you say no to a Sag, they're like, what? You know what I mean? So then you get this face. So if you're not talking with Sagittarius, then it's probably because of something they feel you did was wrong here. With the Nine of Wands, you can see Sag is very guarded there. Okay, so at times Sagittarius doesn't know what to think about you because it's like you're fine one minute and then they feel like you start to bug out. That's what I'm getting from Sagittarius over here. But they do respect you. They know that you're going places. They admire your tenacity, the way that you are able to just continue to reach a pinnacle. You know what I mean? It's like you always rise to the top. Uh, you're an example for many people. Um, they just always question your attitude. That's what it is. All right. How does Taurus feel about Sag? How does Taurus feel about Sag? Okay. So... I guess you felt at one point that this person wasn't understanding where you were coming from, that they excluded you, left you out, didn't give you everything that they should have, that they only gave half, that they didn't put, you know, 100%, that they didn't pay enough attention to someone who was so valuable, right? You are value. Taurus, you are the pentacles. You mean money in tarot. You know what I mean? So 
you feel like they didn't know how to deal with you. They didn't know how to handle the situation. Okay, let's see how else Taurus is feeling about Sag. So we have the Queen of Wands here in reverse. Taurus feels like Sagittarius constantly has other options and is always looking for something new. Um, Taurus always feels like part of the reasons why Sagittarius seems to be conflicted often is because of so many different new relationships that are established that don't really belong in Sagittarius's life. But since, you know, Sag craves new experiences all the time, that can sometimes be a downfall. You can't invite everyone into your circle. I know that you want to meet new people and you want to explore different territories, but not everyone is deserving of your time. And I feel like that's what you're trying to get Sagittarius to understand. I feel like at times Sagittarius is conflicted about some of the choices that they've made. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that they impulsively jumped into making a decision without thinking about the details. They were just kind of looking at the big picture and what it would look like instead of understanding that life is really gonna be like this if you choose to do that. So it's like Taurus has been trying to get Sag to see that Sag just wants to run off and do what they wanna do. Um, we're dealing with two alpha energies. So that's why the relationship is a bit of a paradox because you both are kind of in this energy of how do we have so many feelings for each other yet it's so difficult to get along, right? And I think that that's beautiful um, because it's not easy for Sag and Taurus to be connected. But if it's possible and if it happens, then it's a blessing because you're showing everyone else that this can happen, you know? And, it's, and that's what makes the both of you so unique that most of the time, you know, you're not a couple that's seen together. But when you do come together, you're gonna just stop the whole room. It's like, you know, pe people view you as two powerhouses. So it's like, wow, there they are. I can't believe it, you know what I mean? Type of energy. So at one point, Taurus believed that there was that type of potential. Um, tell me more. Yeah, so with the full energy over here, you know, I feel like Taurus is still in the energy of being optimistic, but Taurus is not going to fight with anybody. You know, because of this Wheel of Fortune that's going on with Taurus that Sagittarius knows about because the Wheel of Fortune is coming out on Sag's side. So Sag definitely knows that something great is happening over here. But because of, you know, your successes, Taurus, you're not really in the mood to let anybody make you feel beneath them. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you're in this energy of, yo, if you want to do you, then that's fine. I wish you well, but hopefully there can be a lesson out of this whole thing, you know? Um, and I bet they'll never meet a Taurus like you. You know that, Taurus. That, you know, the, there's never going to be a comparison. I mean, you're the only one. Let's put it like that. You're the only one. And this person, this Sagittarius knows that. Okay, I feel like you and this Sag have gone through things that they haven't experienced with anybody else. It's like, it's only you, Taurus. All right. Um, tell me more. How does Taurus feel about Sag? Yeah, Taurus definitely still loves Sagittarius here with the lover's card. Even if we're talking about a family member or, you know, something that went wrong in the family you're willing to fix it, right? Um, I don't feel like 
you want to take the first step, like you're not going to be the one to go to Sagittarius. You're just not because you feel like you've been loyal for so many years that at this point you want them to be able to pick on. It's like you want them to pick up the fact that, you know, it's their turn, like something like that. I don't know what that means for whoever it means something to, but um, anything else? What's the outcome of this situation? The outcome of this situation, it has potential. You know what I mean? Ten of Pentacles energy. If you guys could actually get to the place where um, you could compromise in some way, then the money's here, the value's here, the potential's present with the Ten of Pentacles. It's not all about money, but... This is also an energy that speaks to having, you know, a lot of fruit come out of whatever it is that you guys create together. So it's going to be up to the both of you. That's what I have to book a private session. All of that info is below. Thank you for watching and take care.